Okay. Weak laser shades. There. Instruction manual. That's it. Alright. <coughs> There's the uh, battery. And the battery charger. Alright, let's see. It says Samsung cell on it. Single cell charger. Alright. <laughs> Instruction manual. All right. Skip right over that part. Now to the main body. This is the uh, magnet-controlled lid of the box or whatever. There is the Arctic. Now let's see. Wow, this thing is massive. I mean, I have tiny hands, but this is ridiculous. All right. Holy shit. Okay, got it. Now let's see. Okay, got the switch in the back. Nice action. Okay, the battery compartment. Let's see if it holds any charge right away. Uh, this would be the negative, this would be the positive. Case positive. Alright. Let's see how that works out. Okay. Now let's see. Smart switch is right over there. Laser safety warnings. Um, lens on it is 100%. Uh, I guess that's the full power lens. Anyhow, I'm going to turn this on right now. Like so. You can hear a small sound coming. Now I have to input the code. That would be a uh, three short, two long clicks, and the battery indicator is on. Laser is working. Wow, that kind of surprised me. Anyhow, let's see. That's the pulse mode. Okay, another click is the constant mode, I guess. Yeah, nice beam. Okay, let me turn up my light right over there. Okay, control nice. that constant on. Let's see if it'll go. Mm -hmm. Hold it for a long time. Oh yeah, that's the full power right there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it'll instantly smoke the black surface of this box. Wow, it's a powerful beam. Oh, all right. Now let's see how to turn this off. Another long click. Yep, and it's off. Okay, now let's see the battery indicator working. Let's see, switch it off. All right, nice. Okay, we'll switch to some other. Yeah, let's right try now. now the outside shot. I'll turn it on. Okay, input the code. Okay, and it is working right now. Don't know if you can see it. It is strobing. Now let's switch it to full power. Okay, full power strobe. Full power constant. All right. Wow, dude. It's foggy a bit right now. And wow. Wow, that's a mighty laser right there. Let's see. That's my neighbor's house. He won't be too happy about this now. Okay, let's turn it off. Wow. Okay, we're back inside. Now we're going to try out some variety of lenses that arrived just now. I have handed an Eagle Pair 5 glasses to my brother recording over there. And I'll be trying out these laser shades and tell you how they work. Okay. Now let's try switching the lens. This is the lens that came with the laser. I'm going to try. Yeah, it's just simple as that. Okay. Wow, it's a long thread. Okay, I can see uh, some remains of a. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's a uh, thermal paste in there, but not much like other members have reported. Anyhow, take that off and put the cross generator lens, or however you want to call them. Okay, there we go. Now let's try switching the laser back on. Clicky. 
one, two, three, one, two. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's working. Okay, now let's try switching to the constant mode. I'm gonna keep it a low power mode for now, since it's a glass table and. Uh, Okay, it works very nice as you can see. Okay, let's see. Go up there a bit. Okay, oh, very nice. Okay, okay, back down. Okay, okay, there we go. Turn it on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Flashing, let's go to constant mode, yep, very nice. You can see it on my hand. You can also see that there are perfect lines, not circles, and instead of the dots. Wow, oh, this looks very effective. However, with these laser shades on, I can tell you one thing though. There we go. You can see even of the the lower power dots through them, so I don't really know how much protection do these offer, I guess we'll have to measure them out later. Well, the only thing they do is somehow make it easier for you to look at the beam and the dots. Okay, put it back on, okay. Now let's try the burning lens, which would be these, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now I have this small piece of wood right here. I'm gonna try to burn that one, set it on fire if possible. Let's see, turn the laser on. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Full power, constant on. Yeah, okay, now I can see through I can see the beam through the glasses which is definitely not a good sign. Anyhow, we're gonna try put this into the focal point of the beam, which would be somewhere around right there. Oh, well, that's too close. So all kind of shit can get on your lenses if you're not careful. Okay, let's see if we can set it on far. Ah, all right, we'll take some practice, I guess. Okay, let's see. You can see the beam. You can see the focal point right about here which is about five centimeters from the aperture of the laser which is not good since burning a match at that distance would guarantee to get some crap on your lens okay that will be about it for the lenses now let's try burning right, now stuff. we're gonna do some measurement let's see i have taken out the front cap lens i'm gonna try to measure the power loss in the lens and the overall power of the laser now let's see input the code one two three Okay. Okay, it's flashing. Now let's switch to full power. Alright, this is the full constant power on, and let's see the measurement. Okay, my primitive instrument does quite show some power of 760 milliwatt perhaps without the front lens cap on 770 okay now take that with like 10 percent of possible error so that could be anywhere between 700 800 milliwatts but i don't know if it'll go beyond 900 i don't think it's going to be on 900 milliwatts of the total power now let's see what will be the loss of the lens Where's my okay? This is the regular lens. It does seem to be some sort of anti reflection coating. Okay, now let's see. Okay, reading comes back on at like from seven sixty to seven forty. So that's like 20 milliwatt or so loss on the lens. I wouldn't call that much, I'd call it pretty safe. 